Morning. Hope everyone's keeping well. So we're just going to wait until 10 o'clock guys uh, and then we can get started. So just a, a few more minutes. Hi everyone. Yeah, my hair keeps on getting in my face. <laughs> Hi everyone. Lovely to meet you too. Okay guys, we can get started. My name's Lillian and I'm the Assistant Halls Manager for Downing Students in Coventry. It's lovely to meet you all. So today we are going to be doing a tour of City Village. Uh, City Village opened in September 2017. We are located right in the middle of the city centre, so it, you don't have to travel far at all to get anything in regards to, say, necessities uh, like food. We're very close to loads of shopping centres in the centre of town and transport is very close as well. So what I would do, just switch this round. So down there I would say is roughly a four minute walk um, in order to get to our main bus station. This is Paul Meadow bus station. Um, we currently have uh, Coventry and Warwick University students staying with us. So if you do go to Coventry University, then it's anything between five and a 10 minute walk um, in order to get there. Or if you do go to Warwick University, again, say a four minute walk to the bus station, 
and then I would say it's roughly a 20 minute bus journey uh, in order for you to get to the main campus. So you can get the number 11 bus or the 12X uh, in order to get to Warwick University. So what we're going to do, um, just a bit of an agenda, is we'll do a tour of the property and then at the end we can go through any um, questions and I'll be able to answer all of those for you. Love your British accent. Oh well, thank you very much. Okay, so as you can see right outside of our reception there is loads of places where you can eat. So you've got Bella Italia, Mulberry and just down there is Pizza Express. So today we are going to start at our main reception area so this is our main reception area and what we're going to do now is we're going to do uh, a tour of the building so I'm going to show you um, all of the communal areas first then we will go through and we will have a look uh, at some rooms so just get to our main reception area. Pizza Express is nice, I have to agree. Okay, so this is our main reception area. A bit shaky. So. Guys, please do bear with me if the signal drops out. Hopefully it won't, uh, but when we go into any lifts or anything like that, then there's a good chance that we will lose connection. So this is our main reception area. So we are open from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., Monday to Friday. On a Saturday, we are open 8 until 5 but the site is manned 24-7, so we do have security staff on after the office has closed. And their mobile number is displayed, so you can contact them at any time. So over here we have all of our post boxes for all of the flats. Okay, and we have our TV screen, which is constantly updated with um, any advice in regards to COVID-19. It also advertises um, a lot of virtual events that we have been hosting to try and keep everybody, you know, healthy. I mean, like dine at Downing and stuff like that. It's, it's really, really good. Okay, so... What I will do now is I will go through to our common area. So this is our main common room. This is where we host a lot of our events. So when restrictions are relaxed, we'll host movie nights, so we'll provide you with popcorn, drinks, and a film for everyone to watch. Okay. So we provide a lot of gaming stuff. So as you can see here, we have a pool table. Over here in this cabinet, we have a PlayStation. So all of the gaming equipment is available for you to hire out at reception. All you would need to do is provide us with your student ID or any form of ID. And then when you return the equipment, you can get your ID back. So some vending machines if you're feeling peckish. Here we have study rooms available. Now these can be reserved. 
You don't need to um, book out any of the gaming equipment before you play, no. Um, you would just simply come to reception and hire out the equipment if it's not in use already. So, this is our cinema room. So this is where we would host our movie nights and provide you with popcorn and drinks. Ooh, going a bit fast. So we also hold uh, pool tournaments in here, um, FIFA tournaments in here. And uh, generally, the prizes that we offer are Amazon vouchers. Okay, so what we'll do now is we will go through to our laundry room. Sorry, it gets a bit dark here. Very dark, I need the lights to turn on. Here we go. So this is our laundry room. The common room is uh, very popular, yes, for students to use. So the common room, uh, common room, the laundry room, you can see that we use circuit laundry. So circuit laundry are currently running their costs at a reduced rate. So as you can see for a wash, it's £1.40. And for a dry, it's 70p. We do also provide irons and ironing boards, which are free to use. So what you would do um, in order to make payment is you actually download the app to your phone and then you scan your phone against that and that's what takes the payment. So guys, we're going to move on. So now we are going into our courtyard area. This is actually a very, very nice sun trap. So if you are a sun worshipper like myself, it's a lovely place. So, City Village has 597 rooms in total. This is a mixture of studios as well as cluster flats. And it's divided into three blocks. There is only one laundry room. Um, that's located on site. So block A1 has a total of seven floors. The area around the accommodation is safe and we have, like I said, the site is manned 24 seven and it's um, covered by CCTV and everything like that. So A2, this is our largest building. This currently has 19 floors. And then the last block, which is block B, this has 12 floors. Okay. So, what I'm going to do now is we're going to go and have a look in our cycle store. We do have enough lifts, yes. So there's one lift that's located in A1. There's two lifts that's in A2 and two lifts that is in B. So this is our cycle store. And if you do own a bike, you would need to come to reception uh, in order for us to reprogram your fob so you can have access. You won't need to bring your bike through the main entrance of the property as we do have a cycle gate that's located at the side. Oh, 
push, not pull. So just wait for the lights to turn on. Okay. Yep. So this is our cycle store. As you can see, we do have plenty of racks for people. And it's quite commonly used. Um, each block doesn't have a laundry room, no. Um, it is just the one that's located in A1. Um, and there is CCTV that is all the way throughout the building in the common areas, as well as external areas as well. Okay. Yes, it is absolutely free for the student. There is no additional fee that needs to be paid in order to use the facilities. So, over here in the corner is where we have our bin store. These are collected three times a week and there is a mixture of recycling as well as general waste. So this is where you would put all of the rubbish. We won't stay in here for too long. <laughs> oh, very sorry, after you. Okay. So, what we are going to do now is I'm going to show you the common room that we have in Block B, um, as well as our on-site gym. I hope the signal's good, guys. So this is block B. So this is another meeting room. So it has a very large TV and loads of desk space. This is very good for like big study groups or if anyone needs to do a presentation you can hook up any of your devices to the TV so it's displayed okay. so this room is available for you to use without an appointment um, because this is such a large space, um, you, you can't reserve that one, but people can use it. Oh, sorry, am I shaky? So, this is Block B Common Room. So, we have a foosball table, nice seating area, and then we have table tennis. Okay, so now I'm going into the gym. This gym is free to use, it's open from 6am. To 11 p.m. Okay, so as you can see, we've got some cardio equipment, nice water cooler for when you work up a sweat, then we have a weights rack. And we have some more weights over here as well. So, can my room key open the gym door? 
So when you first come to City Village, if you would like to use the gym, you would have to fill out a gym waiver at reception. And then once you've filled this out, we will then reprogram your FOB in order to give you access. Again, absolutely free to use. Okay. So what we are going to do now is we are going to go and have a look at some of our rooms. So what I'm going to show you first is a gold studio. So when I get into the lift, guys, I probably will lose connection, but please do bear with me and I'll get you all back up shortly. So we are going into A2. I'm just jumping there, Marzina. So I am about to get into the lift, guys, so there is a good chance that I'm going to lose connection. Please do bear with me, and I'll be right back with you. Do we have a connection? Yeah, brilliant. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you a gold studio. So I'll just get the information up for you now. Okay, so at any point guys, if you have any questions about application, bookings, you can always contact uh, one of the U Homes consultants and they will be happy to help. So, let's get the keys out. I did actually prop this door open, but it looks like it closed on it again. So, okay. So, this is our gold studio. Okay. Oh, this is very awkward to do with one hand. So, in a gold studio, we provide a double bed. So if you do lose your room key, it's not a problem. You can contact any of the site staff or security and we can give you access to the room. If you have lost them, um, you would uh, obviously have to replace them um, and we would cancel your fob and everything like that. So underneath the double bed, we have additional storage. This is the, uh, the storage underneath is the entire size of the bed. So it is perfect for storing any of your suitcases or anything like that. You can also access this from the bed. Let's get this back up. Underneath the mattress. So, nice mirror. Lovely view of Coventry today. So, here you have uh, your desk space, your study space. So, there's a nice generous area for all of your paperwork. So, that there is a cupboard, and this is your TV. There isn't a washing machine in the studio. Uh, no, you would need to use the laundry room that's located in A1. So this is your wardrobe. Nice big space in here for all of your clothes and stuff like that. 
equipment. So on to the kitchen area. Um, no, you can't buy a washing machine to go into the studio. Um, in regards to appliances, um, you wouldn't be able to purchase one of those and have it in here. So this is your kitchen area. Here you have a combination microwave. So this does uh, microwave, grill, um, bakes, everything like that that you need. Then we have a two ringed hob here. These are not induction hobs, so you don't need to buy these specific pots and pans. Unfortunately, we don't have a gold studio um, available left to book. We currently have a bronze studios and we also have one platinum studio available to book. And it does include all bills. The only thing additional would be the laundry and it would be um, a TV license as we don't provide those if you wanted to watch TV. So, yep, this is your under counter fridge with a freezer box located at the top. We provide you with a kettle and a toaster. So in a studio you have a two slice toaster, in a shared apartment you have a four slice toaster. So underneath here is where you would put your rubbish and it's also sectioned off so you can do general waste and recycling. My bad. <laughs> Dokey. So, what we'll do now is have a quick look at the ensuite. So, here you have full length mirror, network is so bad. So, here you have cabinet space for all of your toiletries and stuff like that. And then you have an additional mirror on that side of the wall. And then there is your shower. Nice big space. Okay, and up there is the extraction system. And also located in your kitchen is a separate extractor for when you do your cooking, obviously it removes all steam and stuff like that. You just simply need to pull out like that and then it will start working. Okay guys, so this is our gold studio. And what I'm going to do now is show you our silver studio. So this is located a couple of floors down. Um, there's a good chance that again, I will lose connection. So please do bear with me. Lovely sunny Coventry today. You can also see from here our other two buildings. So that's City Point on the left and that's City Club Apartments on the right. So we're about to get in the lift guys. Please do bear with me and I'll be back with you all shortly. We're going to have a look at our silver studio so I will just get the information up for you now so. okay so this is our silver studio
So as you can see, it's a little bit narrower than our gold studio, but not by a massive amount. So again, we provide the desk space, TV, nice comfy chair. A nice big double bed, again with the storage underneath. So the Wi-Fi is uh, 100 megabytes per second throughout the accommodation. Uh, so this is included in our communal areas. So it's, it works really, really well. So in the rooms, we do provide heating systems. So what you would need to do in order to switch it on is push uh, the boost button, which is located on the wall, and then this will start your heater for you. Okay, so you've got a nice breakfast bar area for the mornings when you're having your breakfast. Again, the kitchen, under counter lighting, so obviously you can see everything better, and the wardrobe. And again, we've got the ensuite area, so full length mirror, shower. Cover for your toiletries. Nice big shower area. Okay, so that's our silver studio. So, if I didn't mention before, guys, our gold studio is currently at £199.54 per week. And our silver is at £194.43 a week. How about noise in the room? Well, the building was built to um, all regulations um, in regards to noise. Um, obviously, as it is a student accommodation, you might sometimes uh, people have parties and stuff like that. Um, we do ask that noise is kept to a minimum, so anything that's heard outside your flat or your studio is obviously too loud. If at any point during the day or even in the evening when security is on site, you can call them and we will go and investigate. We don't provide um, any cleaning. We do, however, provide you with all the equipment that you need um, in order to do the cleaning. Uh, you would just need to purchase the products. So, if you would like to book now, all you would have to pay is a £250 deposit. Um, in regards to uh, any bookings or the application process, anything like that, please do contact your U Homes consultant and they will be able to help you out. They are really, really good. So, guys, I am going to go in the lift again. Good chance I will lose signal, but I will be back with you all shortly. So, I'm now just getting up the information for our standard on suite rooms. So this is what we're going to be viewing next. So this is a cluster. So our clusters have a maximum of six rooms to one kitchen. Okay. Lifts. So there's one lift in block A1, two lifts in block A2, and two lifts in block B. So we have plenty of lifts. Okay. So we'll go halfway and we will check out bedroom three. Unfortunately, I don't have a bronze studio available to view um, as we are still in occupation. 
So, this is one of our standard on sweets. So again, you have your wardrobe space with drawers. You have the bed. Uh, we don't provide any bedding, so this is something that you would need to purchase yourself um, when you arrive at the accommodation. We just put a couple of throws out and stuff just to give you a general idea of the space and how it can be utilised. So again, you've got the storage, which is located underneath the bed. Nice bedside table. And then you've got a nice study area with some additional shelving. Okay, and then again, your ensuite. Okay, mirror and nice big shower. The Wi-Fi here is pretty quick. Like I say it's 100 megabytes per second. We use a company called Glide. Um, so when you arrive, you can sign up for their free package with the Wi-Fi. Um, or you can choose to upgrade if you wish to. So you can connect by Wi-Fi or underneath the desk here. Ah, oh, it's blurry. If you can see that, so there's ports where you can connect any devices with uh, an Ethernet cable. Is my signal okay, guys? Signal is a little bit unstable. Is it any better? You can live in uh, the same flat with your friend, absolutely. Um, so the, during the application, um, there is an option where you can book as a group. So you would need to nominate somebody to be the lead booker. So, as previously explained, there are six bedrooms to one kitchen. So, this is our shared kitchen area. So, in here, we provide a four-ringed hob. Again, it's not an induction hob. You've got the oven here. Again, the extractor fan for when you're cooking. Then, we provide a very large American-style fridge freezer. So you've got your fridge on the right hand side and then your freezer on the left. Plenty of shelving space. Chinese market. Um, I don't believe that there's a Chinese market near the accommodation but there is plenty of Chinese shops which is located in the centre of the accommodation. Uh, centre of the accommodation, uh, city centre, sorry. And this is quite literally, it's a two minute walk from here in order to get to any shops. So, this is living room area. Ooh, going a bit too fast, sorry. And your TV. As you can see, um, there is plenty of cupboard space, so you won't struggle for space, honestly. You, there's just hundreds and hundreds of cupboards. Even in the breakfast bar in the middle, you've got two cupboards which are there as well. Okay. Let me 
also got a microwave here and then you've got the four slice toaster and kettle and then you have additional cupboard space around the corner here so like I said guys you're not going to struggle for space at all okay. now unfortunately we don't have any parking um, on site at all um, but we are however located right next to the NCP car park fees for delivery so again you can see the NCP car park just there next to that we have City Point and then we have City Club Apartments how many rooms and one flat so there's a maximum of six rooms to one kitchen so a maximum of six rooms in one flat yep parking again like I said, we don't have any on site, but NC Car Park is located right next door. Okay, so that is the tour of the accommodation and the communal areas that we have. What I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to go downstairs uh, where I can answer any of your questions that anybody may still have. I do apologise if I didn't answer everyone's questions throughout the tour, but we'll now have the opportunity to go through those now. So I am going back in the lift, so there's a good chance that I will lose signal. Please do bear with me. at all that I, I will happily answer. Oh, I uh, actually forgot to mention, um, is there any bus station nearby? Yes, there is. So our main bus station is Paul Meadow and it's, I would say, a four minute walk from our accommodation. So it's not far at all. So in our studios, guys, um, apart from bronze, you can actually have dual occupancy. Uh, and this is at a one-off payment of £250. So it is, say if you wanted to book with a friend or maybe a partner, anything like that, we can do dual uh, occupancy in anything from a silver studio upwards. All bills are included, yes, uh, so um, your water, electricity, everything like that is all included. Um, the only thing additional would be uh, the laundry service and uh, a TV license. That is the only thing additional that you would need to pay. And that's only if you wanted to watch Blood TV. Any other questions? No, uh, we don't allow you um, to purchase a washing machine and have that in the room. The laundry facilities that we have got are, are adequate for everyone that lives here at City Village. So when you download the app to your phone, you can actually see if there are any machines free. Um, so if all of the machines are being used at that time, then you don't waste your time walking all the way to the uh, laundry room. Okay, it's, it's a brilliant app and it also tells you how long you've got left on your cycle so you know when to go back down and remove your washing. Uh, I don't believe that there's a Chinese market as such nearby, but there are plenty of uh, stores, Chinese stores that are in the city centre. Uh, you can be in one of those shops within two minutes. How long? Yeah. 
So um, you would have to get either the 11 or the 12X from Paul Meadow bus station, which is a four minute walk. And then it's roughly anything between a 15 and 20 minute bus ride in order to get to Warwick University. So it doesn't take long at all. And the buses are very regular. I, I believe they're every 20 minutes to half an hour. Our laundry room can sometimes get busy. Um, to be honest, you'd never really see more than maybe five or six people in there. So discounts. Um, the discount that we currently have is if you choose to pay your accommodation fees in full, then we offer a 1.5% discount. Although you homes may be offering their own discount, so it's definitely worth chatting to one of the consultants and they'll be able to help you. Is here near the city centre. Uh, we are in the city centre, smack bang in the middle of it. Um, so like I said, you don't really, I would say, have to walk maybe more than two minutes in order to get anywhere. That includes supermarkets or outlets or, or anything like that. So we have West Orchard Shopping Centre as well as the Lower Precinct. The Wi-Fi is at 100 megabytes per second. And that's throughout the accommodation. So in your rooms, in our communal areas, it's throughout. Any other questions, guys? So again, um, uh, in order to get to Warwick University, uh, it is a bus ride. Uh, again, it's, I would say, 15 to 20 minutes, if that. It's not long at all. Um, and the bus station where you get the buses from is a few minute walk. So if you don't have any other questions, guys, um, I am going to log off. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, stay safe and I hope we get to see everybody in September. Bye, everyone. Have a good time.